This is a 2011 Princess V42 Mark III. Now, whenever we look at this kind of boat, we always joke, hey, that could be the new Smuggler's Blues 3. And I have to say, on this particular occasion, this would be very, very high up my list if I had the funds for it, because these are a genuinely lovely boat. I'm going to take you on board and give you the full tour and explain to you exactly why. But it starts out here because I think these are a great looking boat. They're very well proportioned. It's the right kind of length to the height. It's not one of those boats that looks bulky. It's sleek, it's stylish, but it's actually got a ton of room inside as well, as I'll show you. So we'll take a wander down here. It's a hard top boat, but it's an open backed hard top. And I'll show you that in a bit more detail when we get on board. But it means that this area up here is not a deck saloon. It is a proper cockpit. And we board as ever down here at the aft end onto the bathing platform. There's a garage on this one and I'll show you that. But I think what we'll do is we'll head around the inside first of all and we'll work our way out. So if we head onto here, we've got big sun pad out here on the back. And then in here, a very nice social seating area. So here's a couple of director chairs there, so you can put those on this side if you want to. It's a really nice, comfortable area. This one's also been reupholstered, so it's got this lovely diamond quilting on the seats, which I think looks particularly good. And then over here, you've got the wet bar, so there's a top-loading fridge. And then there's a barbecue underneath that one and a sink. And that one there, I think, is just a bit of storage. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. I'm fairly full with it as well. So this is the hard top. And if you go up to this end, then you've got the helm position over here on the starboard side. And this is nice because it gives you a great seating area, terrific visibility. It means that when you're out and cruising, two people can sit here. You can sit two or three around here very comfortably and everyone's together. They've got a great view out. They're under the shelter of the screen and it's a really nice place to enjoy the boat from. Up here then, we've got a section you can drop down. As you can see, this piece here can come out, which means you can stand at the helm. You can put your head up through the roof if you want the full wind in your hair experience or if you're maneuvering, you want a bit better visibility. And then over here, you've got the steering wheel. It's a tilt wheel, so that can, as you can see, just move like that. And then over here, this is things like your autopilot. Actually, that was the autopilot. That's the speed, that's the depth, and you've got a multi-function display then over on this side. I'm going to show you that sliding roof because there is a button, where are we, just here, and if we hit that, you can see how that one drops back, and it transforms this then from a very sheltered area into a very open area. There we go. And of course there are, I should have mentioned this when I came on, but there are canopies that enclose this back end. So if you want this all closed up, the world's not so good. Or of course, if you're leaving the boat, you just want to protect everything, then you can enclose this whole area. But that with it open is fantastic. And if you step up here, you can see how you can look right out across the front above the top of the screen there. Just fantastic. So that is the cockpit. Let's head on down inside. Now they offered various woodwork options on this boat. This one's got the light oak which is very nice and light in here. They did a warrant as well, which is a bit darker. And you could also have high gloss or a matte finish. This one's got the high gloss, which looks very classy. And what you have down here then is you have the galley over on this side. So there is the combination microwave and oven. There's a gas hob. The fridge then is over here. And there's lots of nice little details like this is for your cutlery in here. Plates in that one. So you've got lots of nice little storage areas tucked away like so. And then also then much bigger lockers like this, the bin is in there as well. As you can see, click all those back before I forget. And then up behind here, more storage in here and the switch panel. So this is the circuit breakers for all of the 12 volt systems and all of the shore support systems. And the shore support can run then off of the shore power from the marina or off the generator. So you do have that facility when you're out at sea as well. So things like the microwave will still work out there. That one is the water tank, tells you how much fresh water you're holding. That one there is the holding tank. So that is for the contents of the toilet and that's the generator start stop there. So if you want to run that, you just press and hold the start button and that fires into life. More storage up along here. Thusly. And then if we look on the other side, you've got this really comfortable dinette area. There's more storage along the top. There's blinds that drop down over those windows at night if you want to. And in fact, that's on a high-low leg. So if you want to drop that down and make that into an extra sleeping area, then you can do. But of course, there's two decent cabins on here as well. If we head to the front, this is 
the master cabin. Really nice size. Let's just close that one over for a moment. There we go. And again, a load of storage. So underneath the bed, for example, great big drawers underneath there. And up around here and down underneath here. So plenty of places where you can tuck things away. There's a hatch overhead with a sliding section that closes that off at night. And then the wardrobe is over on the other side. Like so. Now over on the other side then, this doorway here is through to the ensuite for this cabin. So you've got heads and a sink. And what's great is a really nice separate shower area. So this door here will close across. And what's great about that, of course, is it means you can have a nice shower in there, but you've got a dry section to come out into. And again, storage back in places like this. So that is the owner's cabin. If we head on back down the boat then, I'll just mention this fellow because people will ask me what this is. That's actually a dehumidifier. So when a boat's being left, that can be put in there. And what it does is it actually pulls moisture out of the air and drains it down into the sink in behind there. Very useful for keeping everything nice and dry and fresh in here. So this one then is the second cabin. If we head down to here. Now this is quite clever because that seating area that we saw up in the cockpit, if I just show you again, we had that area there next to the helm, the helm's over on this side, and what that does is it creates headroom here. And what that means is that as you step down into here, you've got really good headroom all the way around into here, somewhere you can stand and get changed. And then the cabin itself extends back underneath the cockpit, and you've got these two beds in here that run right the way across, and then they've raised it again a little bit on this side, so that when you're in bed you've still got plenty of headroom, you've got reading lights built into the ceiling as well, you've got opening windows so you've got plenty of air into here, and in fact I think I'm right in saying you can make this into a double bed because it's got these little ledges here, so I suspect there's an infill to go onto those, so if you want to double in there you can have it, if it hasn't I'm sure it could be done. Again, storage tucked away in places like this, there's a big hanging locker over on this side, and it's up here and behind here, and it's down here as well. So it's a fantastic cabin actually. So if you're staying on the boat for a couple of weeks, there is room to get everything away. And the other thing that you have in here, which is quite unusual for a boat that's a sports cruiser just over 40 feet, is another ensuite. So that is for this cabin, and again, you do have the separate shower area because this is a rotating screen. It comes all the way around, it means you can shower in there and you can step out into here. And again, you've got blinds that drop down over the windows, you've got storage up in places like this. It's a really nice little heads compartment, that. So that's the interior. Let's close that one over and I'll show you the outside. So back out through here back into here. That's a TV on the wall and there's a little bar area down underneath it. Okay, we'll head back up here. Actually this is an interesting thing as well. This one's actually got air conditioning on it, which is quite rare on this size of boat. So that's heating and cooling. Very nice if you plan to take the boat down to the Mediterranean or somewhere like that, which of course this would be ideal for. So back up into here, we'll walk back through the cockpit that is a door that will come across so that if you want to close this off you can do brilliant if you've got small kids that kind of thing and if you step on up around here then we'll take us around to the side decks there's a nice rail here to hang on to but another one then up here and this is that big sliding roof so you can see it's a fabric roof and and that means that it constantly up nice and small and that is what allows you to have this huge opening so it really does feel like an open boat when that is slid back. If we come here onto the foredeck, we've got sunbathing up here. And then if we come right on forward, that's the hatch over the forward cabin. There's another one there as well, and that's over the saloon. And they will open, so again, great for ventilation. And then right up here on the bow, we've got power anchor winch and the anchor itself, of course. And then this one here, that is the anchor uh, chain locker but also there's room in there 
for fenders and ropes and all that kind of stuff as well. And that's the buttons for it and you can operate that also from the helm position. Hi sir, let's head on back and I'll show you that garage and I also want to show you the engines. So we'll come back down here. Now to open the garage there is a switch down in here. This is the shore power lead so that's what's giving you 240 volt on the boat from the marina and that little switch down there will operate the garage. Now what we've got in here is a Williams 285 turbojet tender so it's a pretty decent tender again for a 42 foot boat it's brilliant you can see it just in there it is a little bit of a squeeze you have to deflate the tube slightly to get it in um, obviously if you put a smaller one in go in no problem at all but this is the biggest that you can get in and what that means is you've got a brilliant water sports toy because that has got a ski tire you can water ski behind it you can see it's got things like a stereo on it you've got plenty of seating on it it's the kind of thing that when you reach your destination if you want to go off and explore whether you can launch that and head off for the afternoon, take a picnic, go and have some fun with it. So that's a brilliant thing to have on board. And that's pretty neat, the way they managed to squeeze that in. That's excellent. So that's that fella. Let's come back out of there. That's a shower in behind that one. Let's drop that back down. Perfect. Let's close that one over. And then the engine access. Well, I can hear a steam train. I wonder if we can see it. Distracted again. There it goes. Straight through there. Can you see the, uh, the steam from it? I don't think you can actually see it. We're down at Nos on the River Dart at the moment. It's a beautiful spot. But a steam train has evaded us. It's gone behind that building. Not to worry. <laughs> what are we talking about? Boats, I remember. Okay. Let's have a look in here. So this one opens from here, like so. There's a ladder down into here, which is very handy. I'm not sure what that was, but it's fast. Look at that, straight down the river. That's fantastic. Now we have the Royal Naval College just down here on the other side of the river and I think the Air Force <laughs> occasionally like to have a little whiz down the river and wake them up. That was amazing. It's all going on. I can hear the steam train. <laughs> this is so much more than the yacht tour. There goes the steam train. Engines, come on. We're getting distracted. Okay, so if we head down underneath here, This is the engine compartment and what we have in here is a pair of Volvo Penta D6 370s. Now these are five and a half litres if I remember rightly. They're a straight six turbocharged and supercharged engine so some pretty decent performance out of those. They'll give the boat probably a touch over 30 knots, 31, 32 knots, somewhere around that kind of area and uh, cruising 25, 27 knots so it's a pretty fast boat. And in terms of range, you're looking probably around a couple of hundred miles, something like that. That's pretty typical for this type of thing. Now, the other things we've got in here, this is a passerelle. So if you are stern berthed in the med, it's what they call a letterbox passerelle. It's basically a gam plank that slides out hydraulically and you can hinge it up or drop it down and it takes you onto the key. Very, very useful thing, as I say, especially if you're in the med. That's the hot water tank down there in the corner. What else can I show you in here? Generator lives in here. Nice, decent Cummings Onan generator. That's in the centre, so that's running all of your uh, 230, 240 volt equipment, like the electric cooking, the air conditioning, all that kind of stuff. Battery management stuff is down here as well. And the battery boxes are down here too. If we go over here, you can see them. So start batteries and auxiliary batteries, they're all in there. It's very princess, so things like the batteries are in proper boxes. They're ventilated. They're marked as to exactly what they are. Very good indeed. And all this silver stuff is sound deadening just to keep everything nice and quiet. And that, of course, is the garage above the engines. That's why the height over the engines is a little bit lower than normal. 
because that's the only way you get a gouge in as well, but it does give you that fantastic space for that jet rib. So there we go, that is the engine compartment. There's also a inflatable paddle board in here as well, by the looks of it. Nice thing to have. It's a very well toyed up boat actually, lots of toys, lots of specification on this one. There isn't much it hasn't got. Air conditioning, passerelle, generator, all the nav kit, all the main bits are there. Let's drop that one back down. There we go. And we'll head on back here. I will show you actually. That is where the passerelle comes out. You see the little hinge on the bottom there, that drops flat and extends straight out. So you have a walkway then down here, straight along the passerelle and onto the quay. And that is the River Dart on a beautiful autumnal afternoon. Those boats there, and how you can see them, there and there, are the training boats from the uh, Naval College. So they do the training of Navy officers down here and they have those little boats so that they can practice manoeuvring and all the kind of stuff that they need to learn. There we go, it's all going on down the River Dart today, that's for sure. Okay, let's head back up here and have a seat over here. And I'm going to say huge thanks to One Marine. Those guys have got this boat for sale. I'll put a link to them in the description. And huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that and all the excitement that's going on. And we'll look forward to catching you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.